What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome to Blackout. Today I want to give you some tips and tricks to help out you new players and veteran players alike. First of all, I want to talk about wingsuits and jumping out of the helicopter at the start. When you jump, I always jump, go straight down towards the ground. I look at the bar on the right. When I get around 60, 65 miles an hour, I pick back up and level out. That way I can travel across the map with that speed that I hit. So whatever speed you hit on that side, when you level back out, that is the speed you will use while traveling across the map. Also, when you see that green bar closing close to that white bar, if you are a new player, that means your parachute is about to open. Always keep in mind, you want to travel over water, flat surfaces, because that way your parachute will not open as soon as it will if you travel over mountains or trees. Any Battle Royale game is like that. If you're over mountains and trees, that parachute will pull a lot quicker than it will if you're over flat terrain. The next thing is you can jump off buildings that are very tall, like the lighthouse, like the construction site. You can jump off those with your wingsuit, run to the edge, hold that jump button down, run off the edge, that wingsuit will deploy when you get close to the ground automatically. The next thing is killing zombies in an area. Once you kill all those zombies, a chest can spawn there. Of course, it's the zombie box from the zombie mode. Also, you can notice that box if it is up somewhere that you are close to. By the blue light you will see coming from the ground going into the sky also a lot of people do not carry trophy systems with them i see trophy systems laying around everywhere make sure you're picking up those trophy systems those are very very handy in an in-game fight especially if that last battle you get into is in buildings a cluster grenade can take you out in solos or take an entire squad out if you're close together so make sure you're carrying those trophy systems also they're very handy you can throw a trophy system in a helicopter from what I hear and somebody can't even shoot the helicopter down the rocket if that trophy system is there the next thing is uh, always make sure you're aiming for the head headshots are massive in blackout also make sure you're leading those shots you don't have to lead your shots in Call of Duty multiplayer but you definitely need to lead those long-range shots in blackout leading your shots and headshots are a must if you want to get a lot of kills and a lot of wins the next thing is you always can shoot down supply drops remember that you can shoot those down, especially if you have the rocket launcher, the lock on. You can shoot down that supply drop and get it to drop that loot sooner than later. Of course, it will cut it off from its destination that it is going to. So always keep that in mind as well. You can also carry extra items, guys, in the truck. You can throw your items in that truck bed and carry those items with you. If you do not have enough space in your bag or on your character in your inventory, you can throw extra items in the back of the truck. I can't remember ex the exact number it holds, but you can carry those items along with you in the back of the truck. Also, um, you can use trauma kits anytime, and I always recommend use that trauma kit as soon as you get it so you get that 200 health. And pick up long barrels, guys. Long barrels are a must on all weapons. I love the long barrel. I think it's the best attachment in Blackout. I hope this helps you out. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.